Hey guys, welcome back to another Game of Thrones hair tutorial. Today we're going to be doing Sansa's Northern Wedding hair. And you might recognize this as the hair worn in that scene that was super controversial at the end of the sixth episode in the fifth season. And because of that huge controversy and a lot of the complaints that were had about the scene, I actually thought about maybe not doing this because of the association it has with the content and the way that it was handled in the show. But, like, even if the directing and the writing is controversial, not always up to par, the costuming and hair and makeup are always superb. So I wanted to make this a sort of celebration of the hairstyling on the show. We have to give major props to Kevin Alexander and his whole team for continued inspiration and creativity and magnificent work. So, if you're ready to get started, let's do Sansa's Winterfell wedding hair. The first thing to do is divide off a small amount of hair at the back of your head by making a line running from earlobe to earlobe. Tie or clip the rest of the hair out of the way, and then divide the small section in half down the middle of the back of your head. With each half, pull the section up and outward, and then English braid to the ends. As you're braiding, keep pulling the braid up and outward. This is the direction the braid will be laying in the final look, and we want the root of the braid to be smooth, so we should form the braid in the same position as that final arrangement. When you get to the ends, secure with a small hair elastic to hold the braids together. Now let the rest of your hair down, and divide it down the middle so you have a center part running from your forehead to the English braids in the back. Tie one half of hair off to the side for now, and then also English braid the free hanging hair in the other half. Start forming the braid right up next to the center part, and direct the braid downward as you go. When you finish with that one, make a duplicate braid with the other hair you tied off earlier. Now grab your left big braid, and twist it around its base clockwise like this. Pin the bun to your head a couple times to keep it secure. Next lay the rest of the braid up along the left side and over the top of your head, bobby pinning securely as you go. You'll be able to hide the bobby pins during this if you push them under the braid and angle them parallel to the direction the braid is going. When you get to the tail of the braid, just let it hang there for now. Next, also grab the right big braid and twist it around its base in the opposite direction counterclockwise. Try to get both buns to touch each other in the middle of the back of your head. Also pin this bun secure, and then pin the rest of the braid up alongside and over the top of your head as before. Now tuck both braid tails under the other braid to hide them and pin secure. As it is now, my braids are smaller than Sansa's because my hair is thinner, so if yours is even thinner than mine, you might consider not making the small braids in the back so you have extra hair for the primary braids. But if you think you do have enough hair and you still want to make the small braids, grab your left small braid now and lay it up alongside and in front of the previous braids. Pins you go and tuck the ends to hide them. Lay the right small braid in front of the other braids and pin as well. And with that, you've finished Sansa's Winterfell wedding up to. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button and then check out my other Game of Thrones tutorials on my YouTube channel, See the Plates. See you later!